Arctic Animals by Jill McDonald. On the very top of our planet is a cold, frozen place called the Arctic. It's covered in ice and snow, but lots of amazing animals live there. Let's go and meet them. Do you see where it is? The Arctic Circle is up by the North Pole. Here's another picture of the Arctic Ocean. We have Canada, we have Alaska, Russia, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Iceland, Greenland are all in the uh, within the Arctic Circle where the North Pole is up in the Arctic Ocean. Polar bears are big and white. They have thick fur and a layer of fat called blubber to keep them warm in the cold weather and icy water. Their fur is oily so they can easily shake off ice and water to stay dry. What's this animal with a tusk-like unicorn's horn? It's a narwhal. A narwhal is a type of whale. There's a whole picture of it. The tusk is actually a very long front tooth. There's a picture of the narwhal again with that long front tooth right there. Hop, hop, thump. The Arctic hare has shorter ears, ears than other rabbits and a lot of fat and fur, which help it live in cold climates. The Arctic's hare white fur lets it hide in the snow. You see it's the same color as the snow. It's white like the snow and so it just blends in. It's like camouflage. This little, little arctic ground squirrel is busy preparing a cozy den and storing food for the winter. Soon it will be ready to hibernate. When animals hibernate, they sleep during the cold winter months then wake up in the spring. Do you know another animal that hibernates? Bears hibernate in the winter. Swoop. What do you think this is? It's a snowy owl. The snowy owl has dense white feathers to keep it warm, golden eyes that can see food and enemies far away, and sharp claws for hunting. There are no tall trees in the Arctic, so the snowy owl builds its nest on the ground. And there's a picture of a snowy owl's nest. These feathered friends are puffins. They can swim and fly very quickly. A puffin's beak is gray in the winter, but in spring it turns bright orange. There's the puffins out on some ice floes. Snort. <laughs> a walrus has a large body flat flippers, wrinkly skin, and whiskers that look like a mustache. Did you notice it also has two tusks? Do you see the tusks right there? Walruses use their tusks to fight, to break holes in the ice, and help pull their heavy bodies out of the water. Let's look at that walrus again with those two tusks. And he has whiskers too. And flappers, fins, not fins, but um, kind of uh, flappers for his uh, arms to help move him through the water. Caribou stay warm with a heavy coat of fur. They also have large fur-covered hooves that act like snowshoes to help them walk on the ice. Let's take a closer look at these things. Males and females both have antlers. 
So there's the antlers. And here's these large fur covered hooves that act like snowshoes to help them walk on the ice. The Arctic fox has a thick fur coat that changes colors. It's white in the winter to blend in with the snow. The Arctic fox has the warmest fur of any animal in the world. It turns brown in the spring so the fox can hide among the rocks and plants. So we've got white in the winter so it can hide in the snow and brown in the spring so it blends in with the rocks and plants. Howl! The Siberian Husky is one of the oldest breeds of dogs. Breeds of dogs. It can run fast in the cold and pull a heavy sled across ice and snow. There's some Huskies, a team of Huskies. Siberian Huskies curl into a tight ball to sleep and they cover their noses with their tail for extra warmth. Some nights the Arctic sky is full of bright waves of color. All the animals come out to look. These lights are called the Aurora Borealis, are the northern lights. You can see some of the northern lights. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're uh, orange, sometimes they're red or green. So they're beautiful lights. And can you identify these animals again? The husky. And what was this one? This was the narwhal and the walrus, the puffin, the arctic fox, another walrus, an owl, the snowy owl, a polar bear, snowshoe rabbit. The rabbit gets white in the wintertime. Okay, and that's the end of the arctic animals.